Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw something very cool and actually very simple to draw. We're going to draw this samurai sword. Alright, so let's draw a samurai sword and to begin we're going to draw in the handle first. So this part is really simple. We just draw one little line like this first. And then now we're going to draw the handle going back. So we'll come out and then just kind of give it a little bit of a curve going up. Okay, so once you have the top one, draw the same thing on the bottom. So this is almost just like a curved bar. Close it off, there should be a slight little slant right there. And then on the very tip, just add in a little cap like this. Okay, so once we have this, uh, we can add in some of the wrappings right here. And this part is very simple as well. So start in the corner. I'm just going to zigzag. So I'm going to come down, go back up. So I'll just zigzag all the way down to the end. All right, so once you have this, we're going to come over here and make a little point. I'm just going to draw an X like this. From this point here, and I'm just going to zigzag all the way back here again. So I'm just going to create these little X shapes right here. All little diamonds on the inside. Okay, so if you're not sure where to uh, meet up right here, you can just take the top point, just come down. That's where you're going to go. Same thing here. Okay, here's the bottom. Make a little point on top. Okay, so that's the wrapping and uh, let me shade this in real quick. I'm just going to shade in these triangles on the outside here and that will give us a nice little diamond shape on the inside. So these little uh, zigzags is really easy to, uh, it's a very easy way to draw these kind of straps on the handle. Alright, so that's the handle and now to draw in the little cylinder right here. And we'll make it a little bit more uh, three-dimensional so that it looks a little bit cooler. Okay, so from this point right here, this line, just go up. You can make two little points, just kind of even out the spacing. From this point here, let's draw one curve going all the way down. Come back up here, drawing the same curve, just opposite. But this one's going to go behind the handle there. Okay, so we're making it a little bit more three-dimensional. And then now let's give this cylinder uh, some thickness here on the corners. I'm just going to draw two lines going out. And then one more curve, same as this one. So that's going to give us a nice little cylinder, kind of seen at an angle. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the hardest part. And now for the blade itself, it's just going to be pretty much the same as this, but we're going to make it a lot sharper. Okay, so take, take this point, just come out here, you can make a little dot. So that's going to be the continuation of the blade. So from here, let's start on the top, and I'll make it just kind of come straight across first. And you can make it as long as you want. Um, I'm not going to make it too long. So I'm just going to keep going, and then I'll start curving it up slightly. Okay, so let's continue on the bottom now. So I'm just going to follow the line on the top. And you can use a ruler if you like. So you can be a little bit straighter. I know my line's really wobbly. Right around here, I'm just going to stop. I'll just come back down and connect this. So nice and sharp. Okay, and then let's see. Once we have this full blade, we'll add in the sharper edge right here. So I'm just going to draw one more curve inside here. So just follow the bottom. And that is it for this very easy to draw samurai sword. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.